Hello, welcome back to a brand new school year here at Kingsbury. And for those of you who are brand new to the school, I'm Mr. Hickman, I'm the art teacher here at Kingsbury. And I wanted to welcome all of you back to a brand new school year. Uh, hopefully everybody is safe and well. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how we're gonna begin the year here, this year at Kingsbury. Uh, I know we're starting off a little differently this year a little different than we're used to but that's okay we'll all get through this together and as a matter of fact our theme for the year is better together and that simply means that working together is how we're going to help each other get through this we're at our best when we're all working together and bringing out the best in each other so i don't want anybody to have to worry about anything or stress out um i know it's a little different but it'll be okay. The art classes are going to be a little different this year. We're gonna start out everything um, virtually online, but I don't want you to, to feel as if, okay, I don't know what's going on, or I'm not the world's best artist, and I don't know how to draw that well. Don't worry about any of that. We'll get through it. Um, you can email me or we can chat through video conferencing. So if you have questions about any of the assignments that we're gonna be posting, feel free to contact me and I will be sure to get back with you. I want you to be relaxed and don't worry about whether or not the assignments are going to be something that you can't do. Cause like I say, all I want you to do is your best. And I know everybody's gonna do that, but for a while now, eventually, We'll all get back together pretty soon, but for right now, we'll be doing things online, um, which means I'm gonna be posting the art classes. The lessons are gonna be posted online. I may not be able to, to talk with you live during each one, but you will have a chance to touch base with me about things that you're not sure about from time to time. We'll post things online. You'll be getting an update and getting some information on that now pretty soon. Um, you'll be doing art on Tuesdays, once a week on Tuesdays. But like I say, more information about that will be coming pretty soon. Now, don't worry about materials. Most of what you need for the assignments at home will pretty much just be paper and pencil. Um, if you need any additional materials, feel free to contact me and we'll work out some way of getting those things to you. But for right now, for most of the assignments, um, all you would need is just paper and pencil and we're going to let you know a little later how you can show off your work and upload it and, and get it to me um, so, so we, you can get credit for what you're doing. But don't worry about anything. Like I say, we, we, we'll get through this, okay? Now, feel great. I know you've been looking forward to doing the clay mask. And eventually, when it's time for us to come back to school or safe enough for us to return, the clay will be waiting for you but for right now, you can still be creative and do your own thing at home. And like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. And contact me if you have any kind of questions about anything. But until then, I want everybody to stay safe and well, take care of each other, and I will see you soon. Bye. Good morning, Kingsbury kiddos. It's Miss McDowell. For those of you who know, who've been at Kingsbury, I am the PE teacher for grades first through fifth. So um, I'm going to talk to you this morning a little bit about what we're going to be doing this year. All right, so this is the multi purpose room that I am in right now, but of course, you are at home. So we have to do PE a little different. You have to do it, you have to do all your related arts this year. Um, which everybody loves PE, so that's no big deal. But make sure that you, um, when your teacher is going to turn on um, PE on Fridays, and that's when you will start. So let's talk about what I expect for you to do at home. Now, your classroom teacher is going to tell you to have a desk or a table cleared out. But for PE, we don't need that. We need space. So make sure you have some space in your house um, in front of your computer. Move out some chairs um, so you can have a little bit of space to move around in for our PE. 
Also, make sure you dress appropriately with clothes that are comfortable um, for you to move around in and wear those sneakers. You know Miss McDowell likes you to wear your sneakers in PE because you can move better and you won't hurt your feet. You might stomp your toe or something when you're in the kitchen doing this or wherever you are. So put on your sneakers and put on some exercise clothes. Also, um, make sure that you have no distractions. Distractions might be an animal. Like I have a dog, her name is Layla. And she is a boxer and she loves attention. So if I get on the floor and start doing some exercises, she is going to be all over me. So you might want to take your pets, dog or cat or whatever, and just put them in another room while you're doing your PE time. Your PE time is going to be 30 minutes and you have to do it. So I want you to be there in front of that computer the whole 30 minutes and get that done. And I'll also give you um, things to take, to maybe go outside later and do, okay? So, 30 minutes every Friday. Friday is your PE day for the whole school. First through fifth, kindergarten through fifth will be having their PE on Friday. So, what's going to happen is your teacher will have a, um, will be teaching your class and you will have your subjects that you do and then she'll say, okay, boys and girls, it's time for related arts. It's Friday, today's PE time and she will click on it and you will stay right there in front of your computer and then you'll see me come on. Okay, and then you will follow that, my instruction, when I come on for your PE class. Every day you will have a different related art, and so you would do the same thing for them. You know, Mr. Hickman, uh, Ms. Blassingale, and Ms. Hale will be doing STEAM. And then um, Mr. Jefferson will be, will be doing kindergarten PE. So we will all be um, on your particular classroom um, slide, so you will see us there. So just make sure you're ready for that. And it is something you have to do. You can't say, well, I don't want to do PE today. No, you have to do it. We have to know that you're doing it because we're still getting grades even though we're at home. But this is like school at home. So we still have to do all that we're supposed to do. Make me proud. I know you can. Now, we are going to have 30 minutes of PE. So the first 15 minutes, we're going to spend getting strong. We're going to spend getting physically fit because you know that we need to stay in shape because I want you to be healthy kiddos, okay? So, to stay in shape, we need to have four fitness components. Muscular strength. Muscular, muscular strength is like push-ups, chin-ups. Muscular um, endurance is things that you do over and over, like sit-ups or crunches, stuff like that that you do in a timed period of time. Muscle endurance, that's called muscle, muscular endurance. And then aerobic capacity. That's all our running, jumping rope, riding our bikes, um, jumping on a trampoline, swimming, all those things that we are supposed to be doing um, on a normal basis when we're kids. So I've been telling you all last year when we were doing virtual, I was telling you make sure you have 60 minutes of physical activity every day. So Every day you should be doing some sort of physical activity, which can be in, what, of your choice. You know, even aerobic capacity could be dancing. All these things. So you could turn on music and just start dancing around your house. That is movement. That is exercise. So 60 minutes per day. Not just on Friday when there's PE time, of course. Every day. And try to get your family involved too. That's even better. Because the stronger we are, the stronger our heart stays and the healthier we stay for life. So we want to stay healthy for our whole lifetime. So we have to exercise our entire life. I still exercise. So just to keep our hearts healthy and our bodies healthy. Um, also, what we have to remember is um, to stay focused. So when the video is on, when we, you are doing your PE time, make sure you are focused on that. Okay, and the distractions outside, make sure you keep those, those at a minimum. If you have little brothers and sisters who are trying to bother you during that time, maybe get somebody to watch them in another room. If they want to exercise with you and that's okay with you, then that's fine. But just make sure we keep our, um, our distractions at a minimum, okay? Make me proud. Do the best that you can do. And also, I need you also to listen to your teacher when they say, hey, on Friday... Miss McDowell wants you to make wants to make sure that you bring a ball um, to your class. So what that means is if you have a little soft ball, like a foam ball or something, that you can toss and catch in, in your at your house. If you don't, you I might tell you to put two socks together, roll it up, make something soft, 
or may or a small stuffed animal because we we're going to work on tossing and catching that day. Or I might say, hey, kiddos, make sure on Friday that you have a towel because we're going to do an activity with a towel or um, different things like that. So your teacher will tell you ahead of time. So when Friday comes, you'll already have that equipment ready and then we can use that. Most of the time, it's going to be it's going to be things that you can have at home, okay? If you can't find something, then you just do the activity with us, pretending like you have the ball, okay? So that's what you do. We're not going to worry about it. If you don't have the stuff at home or you're at someone else's house and don't have it, it's okay. If we're working on tossing and catching, you just toss and sink and do like we would do normally. Or if we're working on overhand throw and we're doing this, these are things that we might practice inside. And then I'll say, later, go outside and work on that. Or if we're practicing shooting the hoops, and I'm practicing form, we practice form inside, and then I'll say, hey, if you have a basketball, go outside later and try it. Or somebody in your neighborhood that you're, you know, close to and you can, um, that you've been around during this quarantine time. So that's what we're going to do every Friday. For PE, we're going to have PE class on Fridays. So I look forward to it. I hope that everybody will watch and do what you're supposed to do. And when you come back, when we get to do face-to-face -face PE, I cannot wait. And then we can talk about all the things that you've been doing. I love you, kiddos, and I will see you next Friday. Good morning, Kingsbury Kindergartners. My name is Coach Jefferson. I will be your uh, PE teacher for the school year. Uh, we will see each other every Friday. Uh, there will be a link for your uh, teacher to click on our Google site, and it will bring a video of me, and we'll do PE for 30 minutes every Friday. Uh, like I said, my name is Coach Jefferson. I I'm a, I've been teaching here in Sumter schools for two years, and I know this is your first year ever going to school, so you don't know me, but we're going to get to know each other both virtually and when we come back in person. Uh, some basic things about PE, you're going to want to make sure that you have on the right shoes. That means closed-toed shoes, tennis shoes preferably if you can. Make sure you're dressed appropriately so that you can move. You don't want to like have like you know things that are going to not... Uh, not help you move freely. So, you know, nice t-shirt and shorts or something like that would help. Make sure you give yourself plenty of space. If you're not sure if you have plenty of space, you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna do what I call a helicopter. That's where you stick both hands out and you just twist around like this, all right? If you end up touching anything when you're doing the helicopter, it means you're too close. You gotta back up, you gotta give yourself some space. Normally for other parts of the school day, you're gonna need a desk or some kind of surf, like a table and a chair. But for PE, you need space to move around because we're going to be doing stuff like jumping jacks and stretches and things like that. Uh, another thing you're going to want to take care of, make sure that um, your pets are out of the room. I know that if I'm trying to exercise at home and I'm doing stretching or push-ups or anything like that, then uh, my dog is going to think it's playtime. So I need to put him in another room and you might have to do the same with yours. Um, the same thing with siblings. You know, make sure that you are just distraction free. Now, if your siblings want to follow along and do what we're doing, that's fine. They can do that. But if they're trying to play games and distract you, then they need to go somewhere else. Uh, so we're going to start off PE pretty much the same same way as usual, same way every single time. And that's going to we're going to do what I call a warm up. And what our warm up is going to do is going to help our heart get pumping, get some good blood flow, and it's going to help us. Uh, kind of stretch our body so that we're ready to move around for PE. All right, so some of the stretches we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do something called arm circles. You're gonna stick your arms straight out and you're just gonna go forward for a few seconds. And then you're gonna go backwards. You're also gonna do things like jumping jacks, all right? So that's where you're gonna go out and then come back in. Um, you do those for a few seconds. We'll do all kinds of floor stretches. I'm not going to really show you what those are right now because I'm just trying to introduce myself and let y'all know what we're getting up to. <clears throat> uh, so that'll be the first half of our uh, lesson as we'll make sure that we're warmed up, ready to go. 
uh, doing all kinds of stretches and movement and all that. And then after that, we're going to have a lesson. We're gonna learn some kind of skill or um, other PE materials, right? Now, for some of you, this may be the first time that you're doing things like this where, you, and so you may not be excellent at it, all right? I'm what they call a perfectionist. That means that I like to have things done almost exactly perfect, okay? And that's okay, that's just part of my personality. What you need to make sure that you're doing is that you're trying to learn, you're learning these skills. So it's gonna take a while to have it down right. And that's okay, that's why we're in school, we're in school to learn. So like I said, my name is Coach Jefferson. I look forward to seeing you guys every single Friday for 30 minutes each week. And we're just gonna have a great time. We're gonna do some great PE stuff and have a lot of fun. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to the 2020-2021 school year. I know we're starting off kind of strange, but I have missed you so much, and I'm so glad that we get to be together. This year is definitely going to be a little bit different. My name is Mrs. Hale, and I am the STEAM Lab teacher. Those of you who are new to Kingsbury and are kindergarten students, we will do STEAM Lab every Monday, and on Monday, you'll um, when we come back to school on Monday, you will come down to the STEAM Lab, and we will do all kinds of um, fun and exciting activities that will help us become better thinkers. Um, STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. Now, science is the study of all kinds of things like, like nature and um, electricity, kind of, those kind of things. Technology, well, you're watching some technology right now here on your Chromebook. Technology is everything from computers to games, uh, playstations, things like that. Engineering is the process in which we design and build things. So you will all become great engineers this year. Arts are visual arts like you do with Mr. Hickman in art class. Um, audio, audio, auditory arts like in music and PE. Now our main focus in STEAM Lab is arts of literature, writing and reading, stories, things like that. That's um, a big part of our focus in STEAM Lab. And math, of course, is the study of numbers and patterns, which are my favorite. Mrs. Hale loves math. Well, this year, as we start off our year, we are going to do things a little bit different. Every Monday, you'll have STEAM Lab. Every Tuesday, you'll have art. Every Thursday, you'll have music. And every Friday, you'll have PE. And each of those teachers are gonna talk to you about what they expect and what you're going to do with them. Unfortunately, you don't have all the materials that we are going to need to do our activities at home, so we're going to do a lot of demonstrating, showing you how we think, and the students you're gonna see in STEAM Lab are going to be Mr. Hickman and Ms. Blassengale and Ms. McDowell and anybody else we can um, get to come and join us. So. At Kingsbury, we have a STEAM design process, and it's that means it's the process that we as engineers go through to develop and come up with new ideas. And the very first thing we do is we ask. We ask questions, and this question mark represents that. We say, hmm, what could I do? What could I build? How could I make that better? That is the question we come up with. Those question words are things like how, what, um, those are the things that we use when we are asking questions. After we ask the questions, then we imagine. Imagine how we can make something better. That's we call, sometimes we call that brainstorming. And we work together with partners and we think, hmm, how could I make that 
work out better for me. Now, people imagine all the time. I heard that there is a new PlayStation 5 coming out around Christmas time because some people imagined, how can I make my PlayStation 4 better? And that's what they did. They imagined it. And after they imagined it, guess what they did? They made a plan. How can I make this better? What can I do to make this better? So that next we plan, we write down our ideas. And after we write down our ideas, then we create them. Oh, what kind of things we can do to create and build. And after we build and create it, then we're going to test it. And part of testing is sharing our ideas with our friends and our um, colleagues. So we share after we do our testing. And my very favorite, after we are all done with that, we try to improve it. What can I do to make this better? And when we try to improve it, guess what happens? We go right back to asking a question. So I am very excited. I will see you bright and early Monday morning for our first STEAM activity. Y'all have a great day. I can't wait to see you. Bye. Hello, my name is Miss Blassengale, and I'm your music teacher here at Kingsbury. Today I want to tell you some things that we are going to be learning in music this year. I can't wait. This year in music, we are going to be learning about the steady beat and how to keep the steady beat. We're going to learn about different rhythms and how to play them and count them. We're going to be learning about singing games and how to play them. We're going to learn to sing songs, sometimes in different languages. We are going to be learning about instruments of the orchestra and how to recognize them by sight and sound. We're also going to be learning about melodies, how to play them, how to be able to recognize them, and how they move. We're going to be also learning about composers and how they contributed to music. But most of all, we are going to have fun, and I can't wait. See you soon. Good morning. I'm Miss Davis. I am the librarian at Kingsbury Elementary and this is Miss Pam. I'm Miss Davis's assistant. And this is our friend Smolder. Oh, Smolder, this mask is so big you can't hardly even see oh. your eyes. But it's good of you to wear your mask smolder so you can be safe. And um, during virtual learning, you will not be coming to uh, the library for related arts each week, but, and we will miss you. But um, Ms. Pam and I will be providing you with support for ebooks, and also we're going to be allowing checkouts. Yay. Yeah! The parents are going to come up to the school, and Ms. Pam or I will meet them out at the curb and give you books. And well, you'll still get to check out books That's like you really did. That's a good idea, Ms. Yeah. Davis. Yes. So more information will come out about that very soon. Just a couple of reminders. If you're having trouble logging into your Chromebook, um, remember that your login is the first eight letters of your first name and then the first eight letters of your last name with the dot in between at sumterstudents.net. And then your password is your whole first name and your lunch number. If you've forgotten your lunch number or you've forgotten your login, check with your teachers. They have all that information. But if you can't remember, just call Ms. Davis or Ms. Pam at extension 123 at the school and we will be glad to help you. Also, under our school media um, center on our school website, there is a section that says media center. And on that is information on how to check out eBooks, how to log on to your computer with a QR code for the lower grades, or how to log on to your computer. Also, Ms. Davis has made some videos out on um, Facebook on how to do this. Remember, she's not a professional videographer, okay? Um, each day, the morning show will be filmed at Kingsbury and it will be sent out to the teachers. So remember to have nightly behavior. Your teachers will be watching because we'll still be writing purple notes for good nightly behavior in your classes. And Ms. Pam will be yes. looking for some of that too. Yes. And finally, please make sure you're doing a lot of reading. Um, we know that you'll be, um, you can check out books like we mentioned, but also you can read a lot of books online. And on that same 
website on the Kingsbury's webpage under Media Center is some places where you can read books for free. And so um, check there. And also um, have your parents, you can go to the public library, you can talk to them, or they can certainly come up here and get a book for you. And I have instructions out on the website on how you tell us what you want to read and we will get that book for you. And your parents can just come and pick it up. We're very excited that you're back. And remember our theme this year as a school is, we are better together. Isn't that right, Ms. Pam? That's exactly right. Looking forward to hopefully seeing all of you back in the kingdom in a few weeks maybe. And Smolder is definitely looking forward to seeing you guys and all y'all's unique fake masks you may have. Yeah, Smolder says he really misses you guys and he can't wait to see your smiles because he knows there's big smiles hiding underneath that mask. So we love you all, take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, I am Ms. Davis at Kingsbury Elementary, and I'm here to give you an instructional video on how to log on to your Chromebook if you don't have a QR code. Now, the older grades do not use uh, QR codes. They log in with their username and password. I'm gonna turn my camera so you can see. This is the home screen, and this is what you see when you first boot up your computer. Here is where, where you will sign in and it says enter your email. Now, every student in Sumter School District's email is the first eight letters of their first name, then a dot, and the first eight letters of their last name. At Sumter Students is already populated for you, so you shouldn't have to type that. After you put in the username, then you hit next. You either tap it or click on it, depending on what kind of computer you have, and then you put in your child's first name, their whole name, um, you don't shorten it, and their lunch number, leaving no spaces in between. And you hit next. Once your home screen loads, you will press the Google icon, which is down at the bottom, or click on it with your mouse, and find the waffle in the top right-hand corner. Click on it, and click on Google Classroom. That will bring you up to any classroom that your child is currently enrolled in. If you have any questions about an assignment, please contact your child's teacher. If you have questions about getting logged on, please call the school and ask for extension 123. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Hi, I'm Ms. Davis and I'm the Media Specialist at Kingsbury Elementary. The purpose of this video is to show you how to log on to your child's Chromebook with a QR code. You begin by opening the computer, and I'm going to turn the here. Now, if your computer has been charged, then it will automatically load. If for some reason it doesn't, just push the power button that is in the top right hand corner. You will see the computer begin to load, and in the middle of your screen, you will see a box with the blue button that says next. Some of these are touch screen and you can just touch it, but if you do not have a touch screen, then just use your mouse and click on it. Then you will hold your QR code up in front of the camera that is located at the top of the screen and your clever dashboard will load. You will hear a sound and a green check mark will come up and then the clever dashboard will come up. In the Clever dashboard will be your child's Google Classroom account and any other application that uh, your teacher wants your student to have. And you can get to those by just arrowing down. And here under Google Resources is the Google Classroom. And that is where your child's assignments will be located. If you have any questions, please call the school and ask for extension 123. We would be more than glad to help you. Thank you.